Okay, guys, so let's do a quick recording to see how long it actually takes to set up a form um, that can update custom values inside of your uh, high level sub accounts. So um, let's start here. I'm just going to start right from scratch. So I'm going to go to form builder. I'm going to build a new form, create a new form. Um, let's create some. Let's go to custom fields. We already have custom fields in here. A lot of you are already going to have custom fields in here. Let's go. Um, let's go topic for call. Let's go websites. Let's go. Uh, uh, anyways, let's just go put those three things in there. Okay. Um, let's save this form here. So we've got topic for call website. And do you have a way of knowing if your staff, um, I'm going to, I'm going to hide my photo here instead of making it bigger. Okay. So we've got those three things. Let's go into our custom values or actually first thing I'm going to do actually is go to custom values and let's make some custom values. Um, do, um, Oh man, what were the things? Um, website. I only have website. Just gonna put a dot there for now. Um, follow up call. It's gonna be a Boolean. It's gonna be yes or no. I know that for sure. And then um, let's just take a look in here again. What was the other one? Custom fields, um, topic for call. So let's go topic for call. Uh, I'm just gonna put a dot there as well. Okay, so we've got that linked up, that linked up. Let's go to sites. Let's make a funnel page. I'm going to go under smart scripts. I'm going to go demos. Okay. We're going to add a new step. Um, uh, custom values upload demo. All right. CV demo funnel step. <clears throat> All right, let's go create from blank. Oh, let's just go small, one column text up date these settings for your call. Let's just put that and let's go add a form. Okay. We're going to add a form. Oh, I think it's form 12. I didn't even look at it. It's not form 12. It's something else. <laughs> I guess I didn't name that form. Um, try form one. There we go. Form one. It is. Okay. So test metadata. Okay, we're gonna save that. Now, doesn't look pretty at this point, but let's just do this. Okay, um, we got that, that, that. We're gonna go over to our Smart Scripts page. I'm gonna open a new tab here, just for fun. Go to our agency view. All right. So what we're doing here again is we're setting up a form to update custom values using the custom values updater. So then we're going to go to smart reviews or sometimes they'll say smart scripts, depending on whatever titles you put in there. We're going to go over here to custom values updater. Um, we are going to add our location. 
oh, we got, we got a TBS account right here already. So we're going to add a collection. So create a new collection, select TBS account. Um, this is going to be um, topic for call. Now these, these collections can be used across multiple sites. If you have, um, if you have a snapshot or something that you're using for multiple accounts, that way you don't have to redo this for every single one. So we're going to do topic for call. This is the topic for the call. This is going to be text. Subdomain is going to be, um, where is it? Not subdomain. It's a topic for call right there. We're going to map that one to that one. We're going to map website because this is your website. Again, that's going to be text. Let's map website. And then we are going to find, where's that one that we did? Um, oh man, what do we call it? Results, call booking page, no. Oh, follow-up call. I think that's what it was. I think that's what we called it. All right, so it's going to be called follow-up call. Um, it's going to be our custom value, and we're going to, do you have the ability to list recordings, cars, or these, or staff? I think that was the one that we used, right? Uh, going to have to double check on that. Let's just go back to our form for a second. Your staff is calling new leads within five minutes. There you go, right there. Okay, so that one's gonna be, I think we set that one to yes, no. Okay, so one thing that we have to do here is we have yes, no already as our fields. Um, that's perfect. All right, and then we're gonna update these. We're going to create this new collection, save collection. Okay. So that collection is saved. Now we have topic for call. If we click edit, we can see that those, those three items are already selected in here. One, two, three. Let's go back just to double check. Now we're going to assign that collection to this location. We're going to click assign. All right, so we have topic for call and smart reviews assigned to that location. So um, the one thing we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to grab this. Um, we're going to need to grab this webhook. Okay, we're going to copy and paste this webhook, copy. Um, last thing we're going to do is let's just go cancel, save form automation we're just going to create the automation so once that so if you have automation once that form is completed usually you do have an automation that is is already created for those things we're going to create a new workflow there and we're going to add a trigger so this is going to be form submitted here and we're going to select the form is uh form one because we didn't rename it you want to add anything else? Nope. So save that trigger, rename this to, oops, we're opening up a new page. Um, test, um, some values, updater, demo. Okay. And then we're going to do a webhook here and we're going to paste this webhook here. So you need to have the custom value smart location ID, but once you add the location to um to the back end, it's automatically going to save that that updater on there. So and then we want to set this to allow multiple. Okay. And now let's hit save. And the last 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 thing that we're going to do here is go to sites grab that uh, smart scripts I'm just gonna grab that you the URL for this page 
copy link address, and I'm going to go back to agency here. I'm going to go settings, custom menu link, create new custom menu link. Um, let's give it a funky one here. Let's say update settings. We're going to do there, show link. We're not going to show it on all accounts. This one is actually just going to be showed on TBS here because I'm just testing it out here and showing you guys how that looks. And we're going to hit save. Okay, so now if I go back to TBS and I hit refresh, Okay, uh, now we hit refresh. We will see update settings here. We're gonna click on that. It's going to show us a form when things load. All right, so this is the new topic. Um, HTTPS, this is the new website. And I'm gonna click yes. I guess we should have had to go to a thank you page or something along those lines. All right. Well, it, <laughs> it updated and brought us to a new page. So. So now if we pop over to settings, custom values. Uh, we'll see that follow-up call equals yes. We have a, this is the new website.com in our custom values. And this is the new topic for our topic call. So you can use this to update anything, any, any location. Now using our, um, our location, let me see here. Uh, where is it? Um, let's go back to, uh, not smart proof, smart reviews. And we're going to go back to custom values updater using this webhook here. You can automatically add locations to here and add them to collections so that anytime you want to update custom values, um, even for new locations or onboarding or anything like that, it can automatically add the location here and give them permissions to use these collections and update that way. So that is a really quick um, way how to set that up once and then you can use it over and over and over and over and over again for any of your clients and um, when they ever come they need to update that those settings that we just talked about they click on update settings add in those things hit submit um, and it'll update for them hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions uh hit me up thanks